Colon cancer is often called the silent killer due to the fact that it often occurs with no symptoms, until the tumor has become large enough to cause problems. Although it can occur at any age, colon cancer mainly affects older persons. It usually begins as small, non-cancerous clumps of cells called polyps that form on the inside of the colon or large intestine. Over time some of these polyps can become colon cancers. Over 100,000 new cases of colon cancer are reported each year in the U.S. It is actually the third most common cancer in both men and women, and is responsible for nearly 50,000 deaths each year. While there's no way to know for sure whether colon cancer will develop, there are some early symptoms that might indicate a problem. Some signs mentioned in this video may be subtle, while others may be more obvious. These signs include, number one, unexplained bloating or abdominal pain. Colon cancer can be genetic or it can develop as a result of food and exercise habits, which can raise your risk by up to 30%. While other factors including poor diet, obesity, smoking, and alcohol use only enhance your risk by 5% to 10%, genetics are responsible for 10 to 15% of colon cancer occurrences. Bloating is one of the most obvious symptoms of colon cancer. It can happen in the early stages of the disease or it could be a sign of other medical conditions unrelated to cancer. Bloating is a sensation of heaviness or swelling in the belly that is typically caused by gas. Certain foods or medications may also be responsible. Try eating smaller meals more frequently throughout the day instead of three large meals each day if your stomach feels bloated after eating. This will help reduce bloating brought on by overeating and should also help stabilize blood sugar levels. Number 2. Feeling constantly tired. Feeling tired is a typical symptom of colon cancer and can be brought on by a variety of factors such as staying up late or not getting enough sleep. The symptoms of colon cancer frequently appear slowly and do not have any obvious warning signs. But if you experience fatigue more frequently than normal and it persists even after a decent night's sleep, it can be an indication that something is wrong with your body. The colon is responsible for removing waste from the body through the stool. When this process becomes blocked or slows down, toxins build up in the digestive system and if this continues, over time it can lead to cancerous tumors in the colon wall. If you feel tired often and notice any other symptoms such as bloating or abdominal pain, this might be an early sign of colon cancer. Number 3. Constipation. Several factors, including drug side effects and a lack of exercise, might cause constipation. It might be difficult to determine between ordinary constipation and a more dangerous condition like colon cancer. It goes without saying that the colon is responsible of eliminating waste. It's also responsible for the absorption of water and nutrients from the food we eat. Constipation may result in the colon becoming clogged and unable to perform its normal functions. It might not seem to be a big deal at first, but it could be an indication of an early sign of colon cancer. In fact, one study found that more than 80% of patients with colon cancer had suffered from constipation prior to their diagnosis. If you're experiencing constipation that lasts longer than three days, talk to your doctor especially if other symptoms such as bloody stools and abdominal pain are present because as they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Are you liking our video so far? Before we continue don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, so you never miss out on more videos like this. Number 4. Sudden Weight Loss. Sudden weight loss can be an early sign of colon cancer or other gastrointestinal diseases, but it can also happen for other reasons. For example, if you're an older adult or have recovered from an illness, it's completely normal to have shed off some extra pounds. Colon cancer symptoms vary depending on where the tumor is located and how advanced it is. However, it could be a symptom of colon cancer if you dropped more than 10 or 15 pounds over a short period of time. Number 5. Feeling full all the time. Exercise and a healthy diet can reduce your risk of getting colon cancer, but it might not be enough to stop it from happening. If you feel full even when you aren't eating, it may indicate that there is an issue with your digestive system. Bloating, constipation, diarrhea, and other digestive problems brought on by colon cancer can make it challenging for people to eat properly. These symptoms, which are frequently mild at first, are actually a lot easier to ignore or dismiss than other colon cancer symptoms. If you experience any other symptoms, such as weight loss or fatigue, 
you might wrongly assume that something else is wrong with you and delay seeking medical attention. The best approach to avoid the condition, whether you're 61 or 16 years old, is to eat healthily, exercise, and keep a normal weight. Your intestines will remain clean if you do this. Compared to other races and ethnicities in the US, African Americans have the highest risk of colon cancer, although this may be due to differences in access to screening tests rather than biology alone. Number 6. Changes in Bowel Habits. The average age at which colon cancer is most likely to develop is 60. Although younger people can develop colon cancer, it is more common in those over 65 years of age. A healthy colon typically has regular bowel movements every day or every other day, and the stool should be soft, brown, and easy to pass without any blood. Bowel habits are frequently the first indicator of colon cancer. It can be a cause for concern if you notice any changes in how frequently you use the restroom or if your stool gets hard and difficult to pass. Number 7. Diarrhea. People with colon cancer frequently experience diarrhea or loose stools. In medical terminology, diarrhea is defined as passing three or more incomplete unformed stools in a day. Diarrhea is a symptom that can also be caused by other conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, lactose intolerance and inflammatory bowel disease. According to the National Cancer Institute, some patients may develop diarrhea if their colons are infected with parasites or bacteria. Number 8. Blood in your stool. An early indicator of colon cancer may be blood in your stool. Bloody stools can be brought on by a variety of cancers as well as other conditions like ulcerative colitis, diverticulitis, and hemorrhoids. The colon is the portion of your digestive system that stores stool before it is evacuated from the body. The most common cause of blood in the stool is inflammation or damage to the large intestine, although it can also result from bleeding in other areas of the digestive tract, like stomach ulcers. Antibiotics like ciprofloxacin, anti-diarrheal medications like lactulose, and iron supplements can all result in bloody stools. If caught early, colon cancer is one of the most treatable cancers. Unfortunately, colon cancer will affect one in every 20 Americans at some point in their lives. The likelihood of survival is higher the earlier it is discovered. Number 9. Bleeding from the rectum. Bleeding from the rectum might be a sign of colon cancer. The rectum is the last part of your large intestine which is about 5 inches long. It's where waste leaves your body. However, bleeding from the rectum is fairly common. A number of other conditions that can cause bleeding in this area are hemorrhoids and anal fissures. Bleeding from the rectum may also be caused by a polyp or other growth on the surface of your colon. Keep in mind that if you experience any of the symptoms listed above, you should not wait to consult with your physician. Additionally, if you have any of the risk factors for colon cancer listed above, be sure to discuss with your doctor if colonoscopies might be the best option for screening. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.